Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and we're going to be looking at a new light from Throughnight that they sent over so I can check out. Uh, I've been using it off and on for a little over a month now. Um, it's actually not something that I would normally carry as part of my EDC, but it's always good to have lights that have different functions and different capabilities, and this one here is one of those lights. Now, as you can see by the title, this is the Catapult Mini from Throughnight, and most of the time when you get a, um, a flashlight, whether it's for EDC purposes or you know whatever you're gonna be using it for, you're either gonna get a light that has a flood, so it's got a wide beam to it, so it lights up a nice area right in front of you, or you're gonna get something that has a nice throw, so um, something that's, that's gonna push that light way out there. Now typically, a uh, throw light is gonna be something a little bit bigger, or it might have a deeper um, emitter, you know, where, where the uh, LED actually sits further deep inside of the light, so you get a, a bigger light. Now what ThruNet's been able to do is, they've been able to give you that throwing capability, but in a very, very small package, and that's what we have here. So this is the box that it comes in. It's actually available in uh, two different colors, a gray and a black. They sent me the gray one here, and then obviously you have a couple different colors uh, as far as the LED goes. Now, I will leave a link to the ThruNight um, site below. If you guys are interested in finding out some more information or picking one up for yourself, you can go ahead and use that link. So here we go. As you open up the box, you get a couple things inside. You have the flashlight itself. We'll set it off to the side, take a look at some of the accessories. Right underneath this foam here, you have your um, user manual here. Now again, I always recommend that you read through the user manual, especially with these newer flashlights. You have so many different um, outputs and features and stuff like that, it's always good to be able to know how to access them. And then you have a couple of accessories. Um, this is a rechargeable light, so you do have a USB-A to USB-C recharging, or charging cable, I should say. Um, it's pretty cool that it uses USB-C, but the cable is a little bit short. I always wish that they would include uh, maybe a little bit longer cable with these lights, but again, the fact that they do include it is good. And then you have this little bag here with a couple of other accessories. You have a lanyard, a couple of spare O-rings, and then you have a spare door for the um, battery where you're gonna be recharging, or the, the charging port, sorry, where you're gonna be recharging the battery. So taking a look at the light itself, again, it is a very, very small light, as you guys can see it here in my hand. Um, I can actually wrap my hand all the way around it and it almost disappears there. So um, it's really cool that they could fit um, in such a small package a light that's throwing the light out there or a flashlight that's throwing the light out there way out there. Um, I believe the maximum effective distance of this light is 598 meters. So it's really, really cool um, when you're actually using it to be able to see things way out in the distance if you needed to. So um, obviously, as you guys can see, it has a really big head right here. The, um, the uh, head of the flashlight it's rather large and that's so it can go ahead and throw that light way out there it's got a smooth reflector right in there uh, and then the led sits right there in the middle and then as you can see it has a little bit of a focus in the middle there so this is the gray one as i mentioned so you have a uh, side switch here which has an led built into it and it's actually going to um, let you know how much battery power it is based on the color and then on the opposite side you have the charging port right here for the usb-c and let me see if I can get into it. Um, come on, nice and tight in there. Oh, there we go. So, all right, so that's where you're gonna be. go ahead and recharge it. On the tail cap end here, you do have a little spot where you can put your lanyard and then it's flat. If you wanna tail stand it, you can go ahead and do that. But again, um, the purpose of this light, it's gonna be more for um, throwing the, the light way out there in the distance so you can see things um, as they're coming at you or if you're looking for something, this is a pretty nice searchlight. So as you, if you guys can see here from my mats, these are one inch increments. So this light is a little bit over three inches. So again, very, very small. Um, there is no pocket clip or anything like that. Obviously, um, because of the aesthetics of this light, it'll be kind of difficult to put it in a pocket, but um, I could easily see this light in, um, in like an EDC bag, uh, bug out bag, bailout bag, any type of bags that you were carrying, uh, you can go ahead and throw this light in there and use it so you have those capabilities. Um, obviously, because of the size of the light, 
and um, what it is. I would almost want it to have seen maybe a pouch so you can carry it some way. Um, maybe something you know that you can kind of slip it in there and, and the head stays out. But just to give you that capability to be able to carry it as well, as opposed to just kind of you know throwing it inside of a bag. But again, you know it's a, it's a small enough light that it's not going to take up that much room. So um, you do have, like I mentioned, a couple different modes, um, and they are all activated through the side switch right here. So basically, pressing the switch once will turn the light on. This light does have a memory, so it's going to come on on whatever the last mode that you were using it on. So this is the low mode, and this is actually 21 lumens and it's good for 12 hours so if you press and hold the side switch here it'll cycle through the different modes so from low it goes up to medium the medium is 96 lumens for four hours press it again and it goes up to high high is going to be 235 lumens and that's good for 80 minutes um, and then if you press it again, it'll go back down to low. So um, through the, the just pressing it and holding it, it's just cycle through low, medium, high, and then back to low. And then if you press it again, it'll actually turn the light off. Now, if you press and hold the light on, it'll actually come on and it's got a firefly mode. I don't know if you guys can make it out here in my hands. That firefly is 0.5 lumens. So, and that's good for 106 hours. Uh, so again, um, very, very low light, but it'll last you a long, long time. And then if you press it again, it'll actually turn off. Now, um, either from off or from any of the modes. So if you turn the light on, if you double click, it'll take you up to turbo. So double clicking the light, and that is turbo, and that is 680 lumens, and it is good for 70 minutes. So again, you get quite a lot of light. Um, that's actually going out and as you guys can see it's a nice tight hot spot right there in the middle so that's going to tell you that that's going to push that light way out there and again 680 lumens for 70 minutes and then if you press it again it'll turn off and then again if you press it back on it'll go back on the last mode out of the three low medium or high that you were on and then if you triple um, press the button there, it's going to go to strobe, so strobe warning, so one, two, three, and that is your strobe. Strobe is 680 lumens and it's good for 30 minutes. And then you press it again and it'll turn off. So uh, again, you get quite a few um, modes and outputs on this um, light, which is really nice. It's such a small form factor, um, very easy to use. Again, uh, double click for turbo, triple click for strobe, press and hold for firefly, and then just press and then Press and hold to cycle through um, the different um, low, medium, and high modes. So what I'll do now is I'll take the light outside and I'll give you an example of what this light can do as far as how far out it can actually push that light. All right, guys. So um, I wanted to find an area that I can test the capabilities of the Catapult Mini here. So I found this uh, kind of industrial park. It's got some offices and stuff like that, but it's a pretty long driveway here. So um, uh, you know, we can go ahead and test out some of the different outputs of here. So starting with the low mode, so if I just turn the light on, this is low. And again, this is going to be 21 lumens. So you guys can see the van right here uh, in front of us. Uh, it's about, I want to say, maybe 20, 25 feet away. Um, and then it kind of lights up that stop sign all the way at the end there. You guys can see it in the middle of the shot lighting up. So, uh, you know, it's throwing the light out, you know, quite a bit. but. Obviously, this is just a low mode, so if I press and hold, it'll go up to medium. Again, medium is 96 lumens. So again, looking at the van right there, it's lining up a lot more of it. And then still throwing out that light, as you guys can see it on the floor there. And this is really awesome when you hold it, because you can actually direct the light very, very well while you're holding it. And pressing and holding it again, it goes up to high. High is 235 lumens. Again, um, lighting up those trees way out in the back, on the left and on the right. And then that stop sign, that stop sign is, um, I'd say, about 100 to 125 feet away. So, um, you know, you can see it, you know, way out there. And again, this is just on the high. So if I go to double click it, it's going to go to turbo now. So again, this is turbo, 680 lumens. And really, really lighting up the van right here in front of us. It's even hitting those reflectors. And then that stop sign way down there, you can see it, it's lighting it up. You can see all up on the trees there, um, both on the left and on the right, and even pointing it right, right up to the sky. It's a, it's a cloudy night tonight, so obviously it's lending itself to be able to, um, you know, to see the beam really, really well. So even if you were using this to kind of signal somebody, 
um, way out in the distance, you will be able to see the person and then they can actually even see you as well. And again, the maximum um, you know, distance, uh, that effective distance is 598 meters. So way out there, they're going to be able to see you and you're going to be able to see anything that is going on um, before it even gets to you. Or again, if you're using this for a searchlight, it is perfect because it is nice and small. Um, and then even if you had to, again, you know, signal somebody, you can use the strobe, which I'll go ahead and activate now. Again, strobe warning. So one, two, three, and that is the strobe right there. Uh, and again, that is still 680 lumens, good for 30 minutes um, of just a strobe light there. So really, really awesome, um, you know, capabilities out of this uh, this flashlight here. The again, the Through Night Catapult Mini. All right, so as you can see, this light is very capable. Uh, don't let its small size fool you. You can definitely reach out and touch somebody with this light throwing that light way, way out there. So um, I could definitely see myself carrying this, especially if I'm um, maybe going backpacking or camping or something like that, because in that case, it does serve as a dual purpose. You can use it as a searchlight, you know, um, looking for things, looking for people, um, you know, just getting getting your way around. Um, or if you need it for an emergency purpose when you need to have somebody see you, you know, obviously pointing this straight up in the air or using that straight, the strobe function will definitely come in handy. So um, uh, I only, again, my only wish is that it would come with some sort of way of carrying it besides the lanyard. Obviously a pocket clip isn't ideal. So maybe a small pouch or something like that. So maybe something to think of um, in further revisions or versions of this light. Uh, maybe including something like that, um, that would be my only ask. I think um, as it is, it's a, it's a perfect light for what it's supposed to do, which is a great thrower. Um, and again, this is the miniature version of their popular um, catapult uh, flashlight that they've had a couple of iterations of. So again, if you guys are interested, I will leave some links below to Through Night in case you guys want to find out some more information or pick one up for yourself. And again, this has been the Catapult Mini from Through Night. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.